Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are unlocking the pro level secrets of PDZ cameras. You know, these robotic wonders that pan, tilt, and zoom to capture every angle. So whether you're streaming an event, securing a warehouse, or filming a concert, mastering PDZ features saves time and elevates your production. And by the end of this video, you'll set preset point create automated tours, and even hack freezing temperatures. So let's dive in. First, you have to know your gear. Every BDZ camera has two critical components. First, the camera module. This is the eye. It handles video processing and stream footage over your network. So think of it as the translator between the lens and your computer. Second is the control board, the brain that moves the motors. When you pan, tilt, or zoom, this board calculates precision movement so motors respond instantly. And why should you care? If your camera freezes or glitches and you know whether it's a network, the camera module, or motor, the control board issue. And the pro tip is you should always update firmware on both parts. So now let's grab your computer because we are logging into our PDZ camera software. So now you are looking at the VMS software. After you click on it, you have to log in using your username and password. Let's hit sign in. Let me enlarge it. So under our VMS, first we have to go to the device manager. This is where you add the camera. Now make sure your computer's IP address match your PDZ camera so they're on the same subnet. All you need to do is hit search here or it will automatically show up on your screen. Hit add. Now it's added to the VMS. You can see the status is connected. Let's go to home and monitor. Click on it. Here we go. So now we can see the PDZ camera's image. And I'm going to show you how to dominate pan, tilt, and zoom. All you need to do is go to the upper right hand corner. Here we have the arrow pad. Just click on it. We can see all the arrows here. Let's hit left and right, and it will move around, and also up and down. Now, if you want a buttery smooth move, you can use the speed button. We can use low speed for cinematic sweep, it goes slower, or you can use high speed for fast action. It will go faster. And now we have to hit this to zoom in and out. Let's zoom out. And let's zoom all the way in. So the optical zoom can keep the quality crisp. All right. And now have you ever need to jump between specific shots? And this is where preset point shine. A preset point save the camera's position so you can recall instantly. Let me show you how to show it, how to set it. Now here we have the preset. Let's set this point at number one. Just hit add. And now we have added the first preset point successfully. And let's move to the board. Maybe zoom in a little bit. And let's set it to preset point two and hit add. Again, we're going to move to another place. Let's zoom out this time. Maybe like this. And set it to preset point number three. And hit 
add. And now we can trigger it with just one click. When you hit one, hit this button. See, it will go to the preset point one. And when hit hit two, it will go to point two that we just set. And this is point number three. So the preset points allows you instantly snap to critical zoom like registers, entrances, or perimeter gates during an alarm trigger. And the presets can eliminate pan tilt delays when verifying breaches or tracking suspect in real time. So no more manual adjustment while the action unfolds. So now let's level up with tour mode. This automates your camera to cycle through preset points on a timer, like a virtual camera operator. So let's build a tour. We are going to build a tour on the same panel here. Just underneath preset, we can see this cruise. Let's name it tour number one. Here, go to set the points. Now we're going to head Preset point one at five seconds. Let's hit add. And we're going to add preset point two. Remember, we set three points and add preset success. And now, last preset point three, also at five seconds and hit add. So now we're done. All you need to do is hit start tour in order for it to play. So I already hit play. Now let's wait for the camera. It will go from point one to the point that you set. And now it is moving between the angles hands-free. So it's efficiency on autopilot. So you can automate 24-7 surveillance in empty warehouses or parking lots by cycling between high-risk preset points like loading ducts, fence lines, or utility rooms. So tours maintain constant visibility without manual operator input. So we all know the PDZ camera's tour mode is convenient to use, but please note, it will actually consume more power and increases your PDZ's camera's wear and tear. Now let's get back to our question. What happened if you got a frozen PDZ in sub-zero temperature? Now here's a pro survival trick. Turn on your infrared IR to the rescue. Now when model sees, you can enable IR mode because the IR LED emits heat while lighting your scene in black and white. And as they warm the housing, the models often throw in minutes so you can keep your feet alive. And you can use this hack in outdoor winter events unheated warehouses or ski resort but the safe note is you can use ir sparingly because leds can overheat in normal temperatures now let me show you how to turn it on so every pdc camera has its own secret instruction so for our pdc camera if you want to turn on the infrared ir all you need to do is go to preset and select point 100 then hit run and soon it will turn to black and white images here we go and we can see the infrared led is on instantly then the temperature of your pdz camera will go up so your frozen pdz will be fine within minutes and if you want to turn it off all you need to do is go to preset 101 then hit run again and remember different manufacturer has different instruction lists so check with your manufacturers if you want to know yours and that's your pdz pro 2 kits presets tours and weather hacks so thank you very much for joining us stay tuned for our next tech deep dive so stay sharp i'll see you in our next video